Welcome to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I'm Danielle DeTeach, or Coach Danny D, and I help women to create luxury brands by creating processes and tightening their branding. This is where we talk about how to build your business in a way that allows you to work with ease and enjoy your life. My happy space is spending as much time as humanly possible in my pajamas, and I want to help others to find their happy space while still running profitable businesses. So get comfortable and let's dig in. Hello and welcome to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I am your host, Coach Danny D. And I am a luxury brand coach with a focus on working with ease. And so I love to help creative women, business owners to find their space of working with ease. Uh, The reason why the podcast is called Profits in Pajamas is because for me, that is my work with ease is um, being able to work in my pajamas, being able to be comfortable and being able to have that time freedom as well. Just, you know, being able to automate what I can and also eliminate what I can to make sure that I'm doing the things that are most effective and um, making sure that I am running my business efficiently. So that leads me right into my topic. So last week, um, on last week's podcast, at the end of the podcast, I mentioned um, the idea that there's a difference between activity and productivity. So I want to um, touch on that a little bit further because I think it's really, really important. And um, it's just actively been on my mind. One, because I am, you know, a champion of leaving the grind culture, but also because right now I am running a um Calendar Detox Challenge actually starts today. So if you have not enrolled, you have time to go ahead and enroll calendardetox.com. But in doing that and in being very um, thoughtful and mindful in that regard, it that, that phrase just um, has been sitting with me. And I wanted to explore it a little bit further. So activity versus productivity. We are a part of this, you know, growing culture. We are being ingrained with this idea of, you know, working hard and always working and don't be lazy. And, you know, anytime you try to, you know, kind of slow down or take time for yourself or re um, renegotiate how you work and what that looks like, you're being labeled as lazy. Um, the, you know, newer generation has, um, kind of, how do I want to say it? The newer generation has really, um, turned things on its head and questioned a lot of things that we may not have questioned previously about work and what that looks like and how, um, we take care of ourselves. And, they, you know, they've really brought that to the forefront of, you know, wait, why are we doing this? And why are we doing this this way? Why aren't we doing things, you know, more streamlined? Why does it have to be this way? And it's beautiful to have those questions come up because we need to, um, we need to think about those things. We need to think about why are we doing this? There's this tendency to feel as though we always have to be moving. We always have to be doing. But the thing is, is that moving and doing is not the same as being productive. So productivity in its truest form, because we we use this the word productivity incorrectly a lot. Productivity is when you are taking actions to move efficiently. And we we disregard that efficient part, which lends us back to just having activity. We're just doing stuff. 
productivity is, you know, being efficient and being focused on whatever the end goal is. Most times we're just doing stuff and we don't even know we have not set an end goal. We're just moving because the motion makes us feel as though we're accomplishing something. You know, have you ever just um, had a day where you know you've been working all day long, whether it's at work, whether it's at home, um, you know, cleaning or whatever it may be, you know that you have legit been working all day long. But you get to the end of the day and you feel like nothing has been accomplished. That's the difference between activity and productivity. So activity is you, you know, you may have been working and and you, you know, pulled stuff out of the closet and you pulled stuff out of the drawers and you, you know, threw away a couple of things and you did all of these kind of disjointed things that when you're done, you're left with a bunch of random projects and nothing has really um, been completed. That's activity. You're just aimlessly roaming around doing things. Productivity is when you have a focus you have an end goal, and you're working efficiently. So productivity would look like, you know what, instead of going to 12 different rooms and pulling out things and doing this, today I'm going to focus on cleaning the closet. And I'm going to stay in this space and do these things And if something doesn't go here, I'm going to just leave it where it goes, but I'm not going to go try to figure out how to put that thing away. I just need to get it out of this space because I'm going to focus on cleaning the closet. That is the objective. I'm going to put all my energy into hanging up the clothes and removing, you know, items that don't need to be in here. That is what I'm going to do. And if you do that, at the end of the day, you end up with a clean closet. That's productivity. So we have to learn how to differentiate between the two. We have to learn how to look at um, focused strategic action, efficient action, because we don't want to leave off that efficient Because if we're wasting time, if we're not utilizing our time greatly, then we also are not being productive. We're just being active. And there is no, um, there's no reward to just being active except being tired. That is the end result of active. Um, Productive, you may still be tired after you had a productive day, but um, not necessarily because it doesn't necessarily require the same amount of work. So, you know, you may still be tired, um, may or may not, but at the end of a productive day, you have results. So I want you to focus on becoming productive, not just active and looking at what you're doing And, you know, figuring out, am I focused? Do I have an end goal? Am I moving just because I feel as though I should? If if that's the case, then you need to reevaluate. You need to kind of stop and figure out why. You know, that's a question I ask myself a lot about all aspects of my life. If I'm doing something and I'm not, you know, 100% on why I'm doing that thing, then I need to sit out, sit down and figure that out before I continue to put energy into that thing. So figure out why am I doing this thing? Am I doing it just because moving makes me feel as though I'm accomplishing something? Do I need to really figure out what it is I need to be doing? And do I need to also figure out 
how to be still. Because you don't always have to be in motion. Honestly, you know, that that stillness is where the ideas, the, you know, the strategy is built in the stillness. So you don't always have to be in motion. So become productive, not active, productive. If that's something that you need assistance with, you want to, you know, kind of revamp how you're doing things. Like I said, today starts the calendar detox challenge. So you're not too late if you want to go ahead and sign up. Um, calendardetox.com. There are two options. There's a standard option. And then there's the VIP option. There are some phenomenal women in that VIP room. Um, We had our welcome ceremony um, last night for the VIPs. That was a little bonus for them. And um, it just was amazing. It was amazing to see the um, brilliance in that room to um, introduce these ladies because I know them from different um, areas of life, introduce them to one another. I'm excited to see the journey unfold, but it's just important that we start to focus on being productive, being mindful of um, our time and learning how to just be without feeling like we have to be constantly moving and still be able to be successful in doing it. That's the beauty of it. You can still be... um, highly successful, actually probably more successful when you learn to slow down because now your energy is focused and strategic and productive. All right. So have a great week. I will see you guys next week and go out and do something in your business to play big. Thank you for listening to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I hope you got some great tips to start working with ease. Want to stay connected? Follow me at Your Workflow on Instagram. For more information about building your luxury brand, register for my upcoming luxury brand workshop at coachdannyd.com.